my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Beyond Crimson Stars. Last time this game uh, tripped me up a little bit, caught me off guard, uh, and it, <laughs> it really put me in just such a bad mood. <laughs> but uh, we're coming back at it again. Uh, today it's bright early, not in the morning, but you know, I just got out of school, so I mean, last time I was like, put in a bad mood and got to go right back to sleep. So, you know, it's not like it ruined a whole day, but today it will ruin a whole day, <clears throat> which is nice. And I plan on finishing it here, everybody. I plan on playing it from now to the end. Okay, we shouldn't get that high pitch noise here. I'm not prepared to start getting that again. I feel like, uh... I'm glad. I'm glad I'm coming back into this with a, uh... A new, refreshed mindset. I, I definitely needed it. Oh, what's over there? This is probably gonna be the worst one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, uh. Hell yeah. What's poppin'? What's going on here, y'all? What what is this? What's going on here? So I have no clue. Hello? Oh. Oh. This is pretty sick. I feel like I've I made this point before, but this game does a really good job, even with its really like uh, low quality graphics. Uh, does a good job at like like getting across what you're looking at, you know, like the reflection, and everything on all of these uh, little monuments here. It's like really nice. God, this is pretty sick. I have no clue what's going on right now, but it's sick. Where am I supposed to go? Huh? What was that? What? Oh, it's so slow. Those things are creepy. Who's that look like? That looks like uh, Master Locks from UB Funkies. Okay, can I walk up here? Hell yeah, I can. Uh, it feels like I start walking slower and slower and slower as I get towards my objective. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, there we go. Hello? 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 Hi! My God. I really have no clue what's ever going on here, huh? That is how this whole thing is gonna go. Oh man, what is going on? Was I supposed to be over there? I have no clue what I'm doing in this room, honestly. Okay, y'all, well. I guess we're done with this building. 
I don't see anything else in here. So, I mean, I just gotta move on, I guess. Here we go, everybody, back out to the the wide open world. So so far, but the I can see. <laughs> you just ignore me. <laughs> Those really are some funky men out there, huh? This sand is pretty. I I feel like I sound dumb saying that, but like it's real nice and glittery looking. <clears throat> Another small thing that they put across. Oh. Hello. <clears throat> oh, man. <sighs> what? Oh my god. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. You think that only grape killed your piece of shit? Jesus. This is awful. You have anything to say, huh? Oh, oh. I think I'm gonna be hell. <laughs> okay, bud. Come on. God, it like lags my computer out. I don't know if it's. I, be <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to go slow like that or if it just screws my computer. He's so ugly. <laughs> Damn, roast gods out here. Looks like I got a real long walk to do, bro. Well, there's a couple ways we can go here. Which way do we go? Um, I'll go this way. No, I won't. I'm going this way. Oh my god. Jesus! <laughs> Why is it getting so intense? consists of is something some random sound going on it's like I can't talk because I don't want to go over it. Oh my god. It's such a big map. This is crazy. I guess I go back. What's back here? Fun little hidden zone. <laughs> it's it's not hidden. <laughs> it's not a hidden zone. <laughs> All right, I guess we gotta go that other way down there. Man, and I, 
I'll try not to repeat myself over and over again, because, you know, it's it's like I can only say the same thing so many times, but I really do feel like they, like, like, it, you can just tell a lot of work's been put into this, like, it's everywhere you look, there's cr something crazy going on. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, I'm moving so slow. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hello? Hello? Okay. Oh my god, it looks like I'm about to be walking forever. Oh my god. So, this every place oh my god. is unfamiliar. But I recognize it. The sound of the sea is so loud, it's all I can hear. It's all that reminds me of him. My father would only ever drink one beer. I remember that so clearly. The no AC cat piss summer evenings, watching me playing games, made me think of my mother too. I don't remember her so well. Oh, damn. Alright, well... <sighs> Compared to the last one, that was pretty easy. <laughs> uh man. I'm constantly both looking forward and terrified to see what comes next in this game. And it's so overwhelming. <laughs> at all points. Uh, but there we go. We are officially more than halfway done, I think. So let's, uh, let's keep on with the grind. The hustle never ends here on Weenie Up Prison Camp. Uh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And so we're back at it again. And a fun little cafe. What will be next, we do not know. There's something over here. Here we go. What is this? This one's crazy. I'm not looking forward to the noise. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Jesus. This is intense. I'm like <laughs> so stressed out. This game has taken years off my lifespan right now. Every map design is just so good. And that's the last one. That's the last compliment for the moment. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't know whether I like are silent moments in these games or the ones with the music more. At the moment the music's nice, but there are some times where the music just gets going and it's like makes everything so much worse. Oh god. I feel like I'm constantly going back for through like sci-fi and like it's like just super creepy realistic not realistic but like it's like sometimes we'll be thrown into a scene that can be like you can imagine yourself and like you're in a cafe or you're at home and then it throws in a crazy big area like this but it all fits together just so smoothly this oh boy Get me on that thing. Where'd the music go? Where'd the music go? <clears throat> Bring the music back. Bring the music back. <laughs> but for real though. <laughs> now it's just awkwardly silent. Oh, thanks for the white noise. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa. Like a slide? 
I'm used to this from Fallen Order. Don't worry. There's so many mushrooms throughout this entire game. Oh, brother, I cannot see what's going on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Louise. Oh, man. Hello. What uh, are you doing here? Oh, God. You know what this game reminds me of is that old uh, PlayStation game, LSD. That's it. That's my whole point. <laughs> the thick mushrooms, tall mushrooms, God, they got them all here, huh? Am I going up? Am I, I, I don't see any other place to go. We're going up. All I know is going up. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, I can, oh, I, okay. Well, if I <laughs> look down, I can kind of see again. I can't, I can never tell if there's actually something there or if it's just a weird light. Oh, jeez, there is so much to walk through. Oh, God. Oh, brother. When you are a tool, you are defined by what you do. What you were made for. You were made. Made for what? You came to us on the last day of this fire. On this now cold rock. We once made the sky gray and hill whole. We called people workers and friends. Then we didn't. We only needed for our self ownership over. Abstraction. We oh, name tools as Greeks named gods. We had the machine, and we had everything. No more harvest or baker or block. was an incredible piece that we were just listening to and we have the author here now and my goodness that was a truly unique and inspiring and moving piece that made me think about sort of the things that are going on today how do you re what do you think about that well i agree entirely because this story it's not just a representation of what's happening today. It's not just an allegory for the way that life has evolved in the past 100 years, for the way that the society has slowly eked its way into all of our lives. It's not just about that. It's also 
It's also a tale of love, love lost for the machines. It's fairly beautiful when you think of it in terms of how the machine feels in this world, in this world that seems built for it, but built for it to serve. It's, and it gives me pause. It truly gives me pause reading through this story for you all today, and I know you all enjoyed it so much, but it gives me pause. I don't want to say that I'm a prophet, but the tale that I weave is a tale of truth. I think oh now, I think now it might be time to start figuring out end of life care. And I know that's a very complicated and sensitive issue. And uh, we have a lot of resources that we can direct you toward. And, uh, unfortunately, that's, that's, that's where this is headed. I'm so sorry. Obviously, uh, I noticed your son out in the waiting room. How old is he? He's 12. Well, it's just been that for the past couple of weeks, we've been seeing some very odd behavior from your son. And, and I say odd uh, because it, it, it's odd from him. He's, your, he's normally such a sweet little boy, and, and, and I'm just worried. And I'm, I'm worried sick about him, to be honest. And I, when this happens, when this sort of abrupt change in a child's attitude occurs, it is my job to ask, what's going on at home? Is there anything that's causing this? His mother died a few months ago. I never really knew what he was writing. He read some of it to me once or twice, but I was busy trying not to say the wrong thing. I never listened. I don't know if that was one of his books or if he was thinking about it at the end. So much seems to have been lost. Okay, well, it seems we have one last little bit to go here. Um. <clears throat> Man, I am, uh, <sighs> again, uh, a, a beautiful mixture between excitement and terrified to see how this all comes to a close. There's got to be a room somewhere, I guess. Huh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Throw into the light, fall into the light. Oh, that's probably like a uh, metaphor for death, huh? I'm just gonna... You know what? Who knows what it's gonna be. I'm not gonna start making guesses here, because I never know what's coming next. Here we go, y'all. Oh, God, it's so bright. Oh, my God. This is wacky, ha <laughs> ha. Huh. <clears throat> What's going on in here? I uh, don't completely understand what these are. He just like looks into the different places we've been so far, huh? What's going on in there? This is uh, definitely the simplest map so far. Now that we get out here, it's pretty big and all. But I mean, inside of there, it's almost... When you were a little boy... Okay. You, you cut your knee, and it wasn't too bad, but the, but the look in your eyes terrified me. I knew your hair was going to turn gray, and high school was just a few years away. I couldn't protect you from that look then, but now you have a choice. You have a choice to make. You can stay. We can do it all again. But better, we can build cities. We can make mankind never let anyone go hungry. We, we, we will make the world perfect forever. Or you can go back to the life you left. Smoke masks and 
cheap apartments. Son, I want what you want. I just want you to be happy. Left you stay, right you go back. I just, I'm, it's like I'm constantly speechless, it's, ugh, god, they do such a good job, but they stay right and go back. You know, it, it, today, today it hasn't affected me so negatively, you know, but, it, it's, uh, they just do a good job. That's we all. did it, son! We will be kings! We will go back to the start and make it better! Son, we will make everything not hurt anymore! Make everything beautiful! I'll bring her back! I'll bring her back! And we will bring the player world to the world! Jesus. Son, I love you! And we have so much work to do! Man. Well, everybody, it's, uh, seems we've reached our end. Uh, it's, uh, a bit anticlimactic. But, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> um, I enjoyed this game. I enjoyed it a lot. It was, uh,. <clears throat> It was a lot. It was uh, a bit of an emotional toll at times. It was nice. Uh, a good story. Uh, you know, I have I have a few critiques of it. I think uh, sometimes it got a bit boring, but in the end, it it got what it wanted to do done really really good. And so, uh, that's it. This has been Beyond Crimson Stars. And I'll see you guys in our next video game, or our next series, or in uh, Fallen Order episode, whatever is next. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see ya.